Hello, I'm Melvin Chen, the director of the Norfolk Chamber Music Festival. Welcome to the first concert of the 2021 season. Tonight, you will hear six world premieres written by the participants of the New Music Workshop, performed by the esteemed Mammoth Trio. The composers, chosen through a very competitive application process by New Music Workshop director Martin Bresnik, have worked really hard this week in seminars, lessons, and rehearsals. Thank you to those composers. Thanks also to the Mammoth Trio who learned, workshopped, and recorded these new works in just one week. Thank you to Pat Smith who recorded and edited these performances. And finally, many thanks to Martin Bresnik who had to retool this workshop in the midst of the pandemic. Please join us next Friday evening at 7.30 online when we begin our chamber music series featuring another world premiere, this time by composer Daniel Bernard Romain. I know you will enjoy hearing these amazing pieces and performances. Please consider a donation to the Norfolk Chamber Music Festival using the link below. Thank you and enjoy the concert. Good evening. My name is Martin Bresnik and I am the director of the Yale and Norfolk New Music Workshop. We've had a great week this week doing everything by Zoom, everything by remote to bring you all a wonderful concert of six new piano trios. First, I have to thank some very wonderful people who helped make this all possible. Of course, the director, Melvin Chen, and James Nelson, Deanne Chin, and of course, Ben Schaefer, who helped us so much with many details of organization. None of this would be possible without the extraordinary work of Pat Smith and Matt Lefevre, who tech, whose technological control uh, solves so many problems of remote uh, performance and uh, broadcast. And finally, of course, the incredible mammoth trio, so spiritually immense that uh, we can barely contain them in their rather more diminutive physical size. That's uh, Ashley Bathgate cello, Ellie Toyota violin, Lisa Moore piano. The six new piano trios that you will be hearing are, will be from composers spread out throughout the world. And uh, even though this is a very venerable form, you'll hear music that takes it in a new direction and also conserves what's great about it in its older manifestations. We've had composers who've joined us from China, from France, and even from Indiana. And I'd like to make a special, well, special announcement for tonight, kind of a sad one, but still, I'd like to dedicate the concert to my friend and a friend of uh, all new music, the great composer Frederick Zhevsky, who died uh, today. And, uh, well, he's been to Norfolk, he's been to Yale, and he's a great friend of all new music and all new music creators. So thanks, Frederick, wherever you may be. Thanks a lot. Hi, my name is Benjamin Beckman, and the piece you're about to hear is called Arborealisms. In my sophomore year of college, I decided on a whim to take a class called Drawing Architecture. As composers, we deal with issues of temporal form constantly. I was particularly interested in exploring ideas of form and space, a medium of expression most of us composers work in quite a bit less. Numerous assignments for the class required us to draw public and urban spaces, many of which had trees or other greenery surrounding the buildings we were studying. In the process of making these drawings and in reviewing my peers' work, I realized how essential these plants were in vitalizing and energizing the spaces they are surrounded by. The fractal and radially symmetrical and organic forms of trees are a distinct and forceful juxtaposition against a human-made backdrop of parallel and perpendicular lines, 90-degree corners, and perfectly even and constructed masonry jointing. But there's such a joy in this interplay between natural and man-made. Even in the despicably urban, nature can find hold and thrive. Arborealisms is made of three continuous parts, roots, trunk, leaves. Through the entire piece, the three instrumentalists are constantly playing off of and around the beat pattern of the music, often in symmetrical rhythms, rhythms that pulse at regular, unchanging intervals. The work rejoices in the organic, in the arboreal, and in nature's power to create beauty in the unlikeliest of places.
Hi, my name is Katie Jiaying Li. The piece I composed for Mammoth Chio is called Endless Nothingness. It was inspired by a painting that was drawn from a friend of mine. Staring at this picture always draws my attention to the center deeper and deeper, infinitely, like it never ends. And all the surrounding material creates a proper attention for me to just dive into it. Hope you like it. Enjoy.
Greetings! My name is Sam Friedman, and I'm extremely excited for you to hear my piece entitled Exquisite Corpse as a part of Norfolk's New Music Workshop this year. The title of this piece refers to the style of art making that involves an artist beginning a piece of work and then folding over it and passing it on to a different artist, this continuing in sequence, almost acting like a game of uh, visual telephone. I tried to capture this musically through a series of very jarring and distinct musical changes that occurred throughout the piece. The title also refers to the just general concept of death and being dead, um, and also refers to a sort of old-fashionedness that occupies some of the content used in this piece. The entire first section is a reimagining of Brahms's piano trio in C minor, for example. Now, I'm very excited to be presenting this piece, and it's been an absolute honor to work with the Mammoth Trio this past week, and I absolutely hope you enjoy the performance. Thank you so much.
Hi, I'm Lucy Shirley, and I'm thrilled to be a composer in the 2021 Norfolk New Music Workshop. As I began thinking about different directions to take in writing this piano trio you're about to hear, my first thoughts were, what will make a good impression? And ironically, this is the one thing I definitely should not be thinking about when starting a new piece. But I always tend to gravitate towards thoughts of, what will they like? You know, they, this imaginary throng of faceless bystanders. So when I started getting stuck in this rut, I knew I had to take this piece in a different direction, and I decided to make it a sort of meta meditation on this insatiable need to be liked, entitled Please Love Me, Love Me, Love Me. As you listen, you'll be able to hear a recurring pleading motive, almost begging you to like it, growing in intensity as the piece progresses. I'd like to give a big thank you to Martin Bresnik and to all the faculty at Norfolk. I'd also like to give a big thank you to the Mammoth Trio for their beautiful performance. I hope you love it, and I hope you love me. Please, love me, love me, love me.
Hi, my name is Liza Sobel. I'm coming to you from Chicago, and the Mammoth Trio is going to perform my piece, Waiting. As the title implies, this piece depicts the feeling of waiting. We've been waiting this whole pandemic to return to normal, but right now it feels like we're even waiting more because we're so close to getting back to normal with the vaccines and more and more businesses and things opening up. And so I wanted to pick that feeling, that excitement, but also frustration of waiting. One of the biggest ways I do that is through the piano part at the beginning, plays these chords that just descend. And it's kind of this simple but kind of calm, you know, waiting feeling. And that that motive occurs throughout the whole piece, um, first in the piano, but then we hear it in the violin and cello. And a lot of the piece, it's very calm, but then we'll build up to something and then go back to calm, build up. Finally, we do have a climatic, exciting moment where everything does build up. And that really represents us, again, going back to normal. And that's a celebration that we'll feel when we're, we're finally there. I want to give a huge thank you to the Mammoth Trio. They've done such an incredible job. And I hope you enjoy the piece.
Hello everyone, my name is Dayton and I'm the composer of the next work, an object of some concern. Most of my friends can tell you that I'm a person that has a real talent for understatement. I'm also someone that has a tendency to become fixated on things that make me anxious, to turn them around and around in my mind, looking at them first from one perspective, then from another, and making myself more anxious all the while. The title of this piece, then, is a typically understated way of describing the experience of anxiety in general and the experience of feeling anxious about one of my own personal fixations, climate change in particular. The piece opens with a violent plunge in the strings, which mimics the feeling of suddenly awakening in the middle of the night, unable to breathe. From there, the trio propels itself forward with music that is unrelenting and energetic, constantly straining higher and higher throughout the duration of the piece until, by the end, the ensemble reaches its breaking point and can go no further. I hope that you will enjoy this performance by the Mammoth Trio of an object of some concern. <laughs> 